large animal medicine. The diagnosis, clinical signs, treatment, and prevention of lumpy skin disease in cattle. Lumpy skin disease is an infectious, eruptive, occasionally fatal disease of cattle characterized by nodules on the skin and other parts of the body. Secondary bacterial infection often aggravates the condition. Traditionally, lumpy skin disease is found in southern and eastern Africa, but in the 1970s it extended northwest through the continent into sub-Saharan West Africa. More recently, outbreaks of lumpy skin disease were reported for the first time in Georgia, Russia, Bangladesh, and the People's Republic of China. The recent geographic spread of lumpy skin disease has caused international concern. The disease has not been recorded in the Western Hemisphere or in Australia or New Zealand. Etiology and Epidemiology of Lumpy Skin Disease in Cattle The causal virus is related to that of sheep pox. Its incidence is highest in wet summer weather, but it may occur in winter. Biting insects have been suspected as mechanical vectors, however, outbreaks have occurred under conditions in which insects practically could be excluded. Experimentally, three species of hard ticks found in Africa have been shown to biologically transmit the virus. Because the disease can be experimentally transmitted by infected saliva, contact infection is another potential route of infection. Lumpy skin disease is a disease of cattle, including zebus. A few cases have been reported in Asian water buffalo. Can I get lumpy skin disease? No. Humans are not at risk of developing lumpy skin disease. Clinical findings of lumpy skin disease in cattle. Infected cattle develop fever, lacrimation, nasal discharge, and hypersalivation, followed by the characteristic eruptions on the skin and other parts of the body in approximately 50% of susceptible cattle. The incubation period is 4 to 14 days. The nodules are well circumscribed, round, slightly raised, firm, and painful and involve the entire cutis and the mucosa of the GI, respiratory, and genital tracts. Nodules may develop on the muzzle and within the nasal and buccal mucous membranes. The skin nodules contain a firm, creamy gray or yellow mass of tissue. Regional lymph nodes are swollen, and edema develops in the udder, brisket, and legs. Secondary infection sometimes occurs and causes extensive suppuration and sloughing. As a result, the animal may become extremely emaciated, and euthanasia may be warranted. Morbidity is 5% to 50%, mortality is usually low. The greatest loss is due to reduced milk yield, loss of condition, and rejection or reduced value of the hide. Diagnosis of lumpy skin disease in cattle. Histopathology, virus isolation, or PCR. The disease may be confused with the less clinically important pseudo-lumpy skin disease, which is caused by a herpes virus, bovine herpes virus 2. These diseases can be similar clinically, although in some parts of the world the herpes virus lesions seem confined to the teats and udder of cows, and the disease is called bovine herpes mammillitis. Pseudo-lumpy skin disease is a milder disease than true lumpy skin disease, but differentiation depends essentially on isolation and or identification of the causal virus. Treatment and prevention of lumpy skin disease in cattle. Attenuated virus vaccines may help control spread. The spread of lumpy skin disease in recent years beyond its ancestral home of Africa is alarming. Quarantine restrictions have proved to be of limited use. Vaccination with attenuated virus offers the most promising method of control and was effective in halting the spread of the disease in the Balkans. Administration of antibiotics to control secondary infection and good nursing care are recommended, but the large number of affected animals within a herd may preclude treatment. Lumpy skin disease is an infectious, eruptive, and sometimes lethal disease of cattle that causes nodules on the skin and other body parts. The disease is sometimes aggravated by secondary bacterial infection. Lumpy skin disease is traditionally located in southern and eastern Africa, 
but it spread northwest through the continent in the 1970s, reaching sub-Saharan West Africa. Recently, outbreaks of lumpy skin disease have been reported in Georgia, Russia, Bangladesh, and the People's Republic of China for the first time. Lumpy skin condition has recently spread around the globe, causing international worry. However, in the Western Hemisphere and Australia and New Zealand, no disease cases have been reported. Lumpy skin disease in cattle, etiology and epidemiology. The virus that causes the disease is similar to sheepox. It is most common during damp summer weather, but it can also happen in the winter. Biting insects have been suspected of acting as mechanical vectors, yet epidemics have occurred in situations when insects are almost impossible to avoid. Three African hard tick species have been demonstrated to transmit the virus in lab tests biologically. Contact infection is another possible route of infection, as the disease has been experimentally transferred via infected saliva. Cattle, notably zebus, suffer from lumpy skin disease. In addition, a few cases of Asian water buffalo have been reported. Is it possible for me to have a lumpy skin disease? No, humans are not susceptible to lumpy skin disease. Lumpy skin disease in cattle, clinical findings. Fever, excessive tear production, nasal discharge, and hypersalivation occur in 50% of infected cattle, followed by the typical eruptions on the skin and other regions of the body. The length of incubation is 4 to 14 days. The nodules are well circumscribed, round, slightly elevated, firm, and painful, and they affect the whole cutis and the mucosa of the gastrointestinal, respiratory, and vaginal systems. On the muzzle, as well as within the nasal and buccal mucous membranes, nodules can form. A firm, creamy gray or yellow clump of tissue resides within the skin nodules. Edema develops in the udder, brisket, and legs, and regional lymph nodes swell. Secondary infection can arise, resulting in significant suppuration and sloughing, causing the animal to become exceedingly malnourished and necessitating death. Morbidity ranges from 5% to 50%, while mortality is usually minimal. Reduced milk production is also characteristic of this condition. Lumpy skin disease in cattle diagnosis. PCR, histopathology, or viral isolation. The disease is sometimes mistaken for the less pseudo-lumpy severe skin disease caused by a herpes virus, bovine herpes virus 2. Clinically, both diseases are similar, albeit, in some parts of the world, herpes virus lesions appear to be limited to cow's teats and udders. Thus, the condition is known as bovine herpes mammalitis. Although pseudo-lumpy skin disease is a lesser form of actual lumpy skin disease, it is distinguished by the isolation and identification of the causative virus. Lumpy skin disease in cattle, treatment and prevention. Vaccines against attenuated viruses may aid in the control of the virus's spread. The rapid expansion of lumpy skin disease outside of its historical region of Africa is concerning. Quarantine limitations are ineffective. The most promising technique of control is attenuated virus vaccination, which successfully slowed the disease's progress in the Balkans. Antibiotics to manage secondary illness and appropriate nursing care are suggested, however, due to the sheer number of afflicted animals in a herd, treatment may be impossible. Veterinary Channel Large Animal Medicine The diagnosis, clinical signs, treatment, and prevention of lumpy skin disease in cattle